Hi guys, it's Rosa here. I hope you're all having a lovely day. I'm here today to share with you some of my um, fabrics and sewing plans. So I've got a big pile of things here. Um, lots of these things are from my stash, because as I said in my Res Solutions video, which I made with Alex um, from So Happy, I'm trying very hard to not buy fabric this year. <laughs> and on one hand, that's going really well, and on the other hand, it's not going so well, because uh, I have actually bought some fabrics already. Um, but most of them have a purpose, so I suppose that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, let's get started and have a little look. Um, there are two main events which I'm sewing for at the moment. The first is um, me and Josh are going on a holiday very soon, which I'm super excited about. We're going to be going to California in April, so it should be really nice and warm. Hopefully it's been snowing here and I've been finding it just so hard to be motivated <laughs> with my sewing because it's been, yeah, just cold and miserable and I just really wasn't motivated to make things for spring when it's, yeah, snowing outside so I think that's fair enough but now I've got this holiday to look forward to um, which we booked like a year ago so we, bu we booked it before we got engaged so yeah a really really long time ago I feel like yeah I can sort of be motivated to sew for that and of course the other thing is my wedding dress I've got a few bits and bobs to show you again I'm not going to show you everything until after the wedding but I thought you guys might be interested um, in some of the formal wear patterns which I've picked up this is a whole new world to me because I have never sewed <laughs> formal wear before so yeah, I'm kind of nervous, but also kind of excited. So, should we get started? Um, the first fabric I want to share with you is this one here. Um, it's this beautiful lavender colour, which I thought, um, I bought this, I don't even know when. You can see how wrinkly it is, because it's been in my stash for years. Um, but yeah, I thought it was just such a beautiful colour, and that's the reason I bought it. I have no recollection of why I bought this at the time, so that's not great. Um, but I was thinking of making a Bloomsbury blouse by Nina Lee um, London. And here is the pattern. Uh, this is just my PDF wallet. Um, these are from Wilkinson's, which um, if you're in the UK, you'll know Wilco. We will have a bit of Wilco. Um, I don't think you can get these wallets anywhere else, so I'm really sorry. But I'm sure... Oh, someone's come in the front door. Um, I'm sure that you can get similar wallets um, from lots of different stations. They're just A4. And I always stick the name of the pattern company and the pattern on the front here. Um, so yeah, I want to make the balloon through blast. I love frills. I'm all about the frills at the moment. It's got frills around the yoke and frills around the neck. But something I was planning on doing is extending it into a dress. Um, I'll put a picture of my inspiration in here if I can find it. I've screen grabbed it because I'm obsessed with screen grabbing. That's what I do on my iPhone. Every time I see something I love, I just, yeah, screen grab it. And I have like a whole folder of inspiration usually for sewing if I'm honest um but yeah it just was really lovely extended into a dress so I kind of like let it out there I want it to be like really billowy and like full um and just really fun and springy but then it will still have a long sleeve so it won't be too cold hopefully to wear um in the springtime so yeah I have also had this pattern for a really long time and I've just wanted to sew it for ages and for some ridiculous reason I just haven't got round to it so yeah I'm really really excited to make that one um the next thing I'll share with you is something that's really look overly exciting but it's this white denim again this is something from my stash but I do know the source of this fabric it's from Higgs and Higgs yeah, it's really lovely quality so I'll leave a link to this down below if you're interested if you're in the market for a white stretchy denim this is super stretchy and actually you can see here and if you can see that it's got all the little bits of elastic coming off the edges. So yeah, it's got quite a high elastic content. Um, and I thought this would be great for making something for, yeah, the kind of early springtime. Um, Zena, Zena, who is an illustrator, always puts really cool outfits on her Instagram stories. I'll link, leave a link again down below. And she's wearing lots of white denim at the moment and I just absolutely love it. I think it looks so cool, yeah, for springtime. So I've been thinking I'd really like to make some lander pants by True Bias Patterns. Everyone who I've seen has made these, have made amazing ones. My only issue is looking at the sizing chart. I sit between like four sizes and it's like quite a lot to um, grade. I think my waist was like a two and my hip was an eight or something in American sizing, which is just huge. So I put a little um, shout out on my Instagram story, like, can anybody help me, please? And I got so many responses. So if you responded, thank you so, so much. It was just so, so helpful. And um, so I think what I'm gonna do is cut the size six and then just take in the waist darts um, because this pattern has a one inch seam allowance down the side seam. So yeah, you can kind of take it in, let it out as much as you like. So it shouldn't be too much of a stress. Um, and they're not overly fitted. Again, I'll put some pictures in here because it's a PDF. I haven't got the photographs here of the pattern, but it's super cool, really 70s, and I'm loving the button fly. 
So yeah, if I have enough of this, I would really like to make some white lander pants <laughs> inspired by Zena Shah's white jeans. And that'd be really cool. And I just imagine that if that pattern fits me well, and if I can get it to fit well, I would love a pair of those in like more than one color. I think they're really cool. Maybe like some brown cord ones. Yeah, I think that could look awesome. So that's another thing I'd like to work on um, is yeah, some, some really nice white trousers. A fabric which I have bought, so those are the fabrics from the stash, is this one here. Um, and this is, it's a little bit crinkly because it's fresh from the wash, but I really wanted to show it to you. So I went on a amazing sewing meetup organized by Alex and Jen um, from Ginger Thread Girl and So Happy. And it was lovely. <laughs> I met so many really nice people. Some people I've met before, some people I was meeting for the first time. And yeah, it was like a London-based sewing meetup, but people came in from like Cambridge and other places. So yeah, we went to Liberty, we went um, to the Goldhawk Road, and then we also went for, for dinner, um, and, or lunch slash dinner, it was like a late lunch. And then we went for some drinks, we just had a great day, it was so much fun <laughs> being with like-minded sewing people. So yeah, it was awesome. And the thing which I bought on that sewing day was this fabric here, which is from Liberty. It was quite expensive. <laughs> Um, and I also put this on my Instagram story, like, please, do I have an excuse to buy this? And people are very good at thinking of excuses to buy fabrics, it turns out. People are like, you're getting married, it could be for your honeymoon, it could be for your hen do. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> so I treated myself. And actually what was quite good is they didn't, I wanted to buy two meters um, from Liberty because uh, it sold out on their website. So it was just, yeah, it's just that pretty. <laughs> I would have gone for it. Um, and yeah, when I was in there, they had like just a little bit left on three different bolts and they let me have two pieces, which was like nearly two and a half meters, like two meters 30 in total, but they could let me have it for the price of two meters. So that was really, really helpful and nice. So yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't got a pattern in mind. Let me know what you think. But I mean, let's be honest, I am thinking summer dress <laughs> for yeah, honeymoon slash pre post wedding celebration you think it's just a really special fabric and I'm loving like a big bold floral print so I'm really excited for that one and um, to to be made into something I'm not sure quite what yet <laughs> but yeah the other fabric whoa, let me get comfortable the other fabric which I've picked up recently is this one here and it really plays to my love of like stars and constellations it's if you can look here it's got little, it's obviously white, it's like a polyester crepe fabric with these little navy blue stars and then on it it's got little silver glitter lines. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. If it's not, I'll take a photograph so you can see more clearly. But I bought this from Fabricland when I took Alex for the first time for her first Fabricland trip, uh, which is lots of fun. And I bought a piece, I bought a metre and a half for me and a metre and a half, I think it was a metre and a half, maybe two metres for Alex. Um, as a little present because she also bought me something. So I got this fabric um, and she bought me two really lovely vintage sewing patterns. So the first is this one, which is from the 1970s, I think. It's style 1543. Um, yeah, it's just got these really cute um, little dresses, which I just absolutely love. I think they, yeah, they look really, really pretty. So yeah, kind of loving that one. I think it's really fun. And also this one here, um, which is a really lovely pinafore from Vogue Patterns. Again, it's a vintage pattern. I, if these aren't showing up well, I'll just insert a picture um, of them afterwards. So it's, yeah, it's Vogue 9506. Um, these are both, um, This is, they're both size eight, which is too small. Um, but I decided that because they come with like a pretty hefty seam allowance, these vintage patterns, um, and I can just grade out just a tiny bit, um, I should be able to make it work because neither of them are very close fitting shapes as well. So yeah, I'm very excited to make those up. I'm not sure if, I love this white one here actually, looking at that white denim, wouldn't that be cool? Like a white denim denim pinafore. Ooh, that could be really lovely. So yeah, very lovely. Thank you so much, Alex. I love them. <laughs> yeah, and so I got us both for this. So we're gonna be fabric twins. I'm very excited to see what she's gonna make. I'm tempted to make um, this pattern, which is a new-ish simplicity pattern. I got this when they had a half price simplicity pattern sale. Um, which is when I tend to buy my patterns from there, if I'm honest. Um, and it's this this blouse. Now, everyone is making this blouse, I know. And I just love it. I love the frilliness. As I've said, I'm an absolute sucker for a frill. I just love them. So yeah, I think there'd be a really nice pattern pairing, having like a loose, floaty, frilly blouse 
with little stars all over and that'd be quite a nice little layering piece really good for the spring so those are my two little purchases there a <laughs> nice little present from Alex and the last project which I'm working on at the moment is a pattern which I was given by my wonderful boyfriend or fiance um, a while ago and I hadn't actually started yet and it's the named pattern lempy dress and this definitely falls into the I want to make this for California <laughs> category because I've chosen this yellow linen to make it. You can see I've actually cut this out because I went to this really nice um, sewing evening at the Village Haberdashery in West Hampstead and it was amazing because I always cut out on the floor and in there I could cut out on like these massive tables. So if you are based in London and are free on a Thursday night, I would really recommend it. They're called the Sewing Social, I think, or Sew Social, something like that. Um, and it's just great and they can you can use the machines the tables have a chat will help each other It's just a really nice evening. and I definitely intend on going back um, So yeah, and I cut out my lempy dress and it, it just is a really cool shape I'll insert the line drawings here so you can see what it looks like but I figured just in like a plain yellow um, Yellow linen really crisp and lovely that would just be yeah such a nice combination and I every time I've made a named pattern a named clothing pattern I'm just in love with it I just think they're so cool they have that like, really quirky design details I love that this has lots of like coat type design details like it has little epaulets on the shoulders with the buttons yeah it's just super cool so those are the things which are kind of on my sewing table at the moment on my sewing radar so there's quite a few things down there I'm not convinced I'll get them all done um I'm not setting myself a time frame here these are all things which are just like yeah new purchases or things which I've just been thinking about and again yeah things from my stash which I'm like oh maybe I'm kind of want to yeah use those up and make something cool for spring um the last thing I'm going to show you today is da -da 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 -da, some sort of more slightly formal ish patterns which I've picked up and it's yeah a whole new world guys I have never made formal wear and there's just a whole load of stuff out there which <laughs> about which I know nothing so it's quite intimidating but um, I have picked up a few the first one is Simplicity 8289 it's a Leanne Marshall pattern again I'll put some pictures in here for you to see and the reason I chose this pattern is I really liked the back detail it's got a really cool open back which is yeah very beautiful actually um, I'm not convinced um, I'm going to use these patterns yet I really much was pick them up for the parts I'm going to do like a Franken pattern for my wedding dress so it'll have lots of different components and I'm not convinced which of these I'm going to be using yet but I wanted to have some pattern pieces so I could mess around and make lots of um, twirls like simple twirls with just some cheap cotton fabric um, yeah to kind of just have a go. Uh, the next is McCall's 6646 which has the reason I bought this is I really love the tiered skirt shape that's something I'm thinking about possibly doing um, well, I don't, haven't decided yet if I'm going to go for a circle or a tiered or a tiered circle, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think with tiers they kind of have to be like gathered up and roughly, don't they? But I am, to be honest with you, I mean I got this a few weeks ago, I'm leaning more towards doing a, a very, very, very full circle, like multiple circles, but I don't know yet. And I, I do really like that and I actually do like the bodice pattern in here as well. The bodice I thought would be really good, um, yeah, to use for wedding stuff and the last pattern is one which I picked up because I really love the frill I used to just this should rename my channel sewing with frills really shouldn't I um but yeah I really like the view a which has the frill um across the front and the back I thought that was really really pretty and something which I'm super keen to do is have something with a slightly open back so yeah that would really allow me to do that so yeah those are the patterns which I picked up um, I think these are all fairly, not this one actually, I think that's not too new, but I think these two are this season or last season, they're fairly new uh, formal wear patterns which have come out and yeah, I think they're both really lovely. This one I can actually see just doing the short version here as a summer dress, so I might sort of try out that, top, that pattern, the top pattern just in like a fabric which I have at home to make a nice dress, you know, for the spring, probably more summer actually, for the summer. Um, just to kind of tie it out and make a wearable twirl because I don't want all my twirls just be made of like <laughs> just not finished you know roughly made um, things but yeah I am giving it a lot of thought I mean there are some nights I haven't been able to sleep because I've just been like thinking about my wedding dress which is a bit sad I know but I'm really excited and nervous and all, all the things you feel when you're planning that sort of project that big so yeah that's everything for today guys I hope you have enjoyed seeing some of the things which are 
on my sewing radar at the moment, some of the projects I've got coming up, um, and some of the things which I'm, yeah, trying to dig out of my stash and use, as well as some of the new bits I've been picking up as well. Um, yeah, do check back soon, and I will hopefully be able to show you some progress on these projects, some finished things, and yeah. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and click subscribe um, for new sewing vlogs um, from me. That would be lovely if you'd like to. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.